The next section is two songs that are linked together by Roger Waters. Ooh, uh, nice. The first track is called Grant Chester Meadows. And the second track is the longest name of a Pink Floyd song ever. And Jed there last time said that we're going to, at the end of it, we're going to see if Callum can, remember, can say the name off by heart. <laughs> it is called Several Species of Small Furry Animals Gathered Together in a Cave and Grooving with a Pick. Nice. Very nice. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I said that without even looking at it. Oh, really? That's impressive. Yeah, yeah I've memorized it years ago. The name is so long that it cuts off in Apple Music. Now, so. here's the most interesting thing. Grant Chester Meadows has Roger Waters doing acoustic guitar, vocals, and a few sound effects. And then several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pect. Every single sound in that song is made by Roger without instruments. That's very interesting. So he, everything in that song is made from either his mouth or from his hands, and he uses the recording equipment to distort some of it, but he doesn't use any instruments in the second song. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, Roger Waters, the primary songwriter and bass player, has no bass guitar in this, which is really interesting. So, yeah. Are we ready to listen to Grant Chester Meadows and several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and groove with a pict. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, just a bit of trivia before we get into it. A pict is um is an it is an a, a, I think it's an extinct uh, Scottish tribe. It's like from the north of Scotland. Like back in the ancient times, they existed, but I don't think they no longer exist. I think they're I think I'll, they've died out. I'll, I'll go looking for them later this year. Rip. Yes. Yeah, they were indigenous people of what Scotland um, merged with the Scots. So, like, they were the indigenous Scottish before the Brits colonised Scotland. Hmm. Yeah. Although it's less known because the Picts were also white, so it's not as, like, historically known as other times colonisations happened with tribes that are of different, like, races. Um, right. But, yes, the, the, Picts, the Picts basically are dead. I mean, I guess there's some people that have Pix ancestry, but they've all been, you know, it's all been crossbreeding now. Anyway, that's enough of, like, miserable history. Let's listen to the music. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Flashing of the kingfisher, flashing to the water 
And a river of green is sliding unseen beneath the trees. Laughing as it passes through the endless summer making for the sea In the lazy water meadow I lay me down All around me golden sunflakes settle on the ground Basking in the sunshine of the bygone afternoon Bringing sounds of yesterday into this city room Hear the lark and hearken to the barking of the dog fox Gone to ground See the splashing of the kingfisher flashing to the water And a river of green is sliding unseen beneath the trees Laughing as it passes through the endless summer making for the sea Through the endless summer making for the sea Thank you. 
Grants are Chester Meadows. Rent Grantchester Meadows. Yeah, I saw that one. Very. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was very, very chill, very, uh, mm -hmm. you know, soothing acoustic guitar with the, you know, the very, I guess, warming and welcoming vocals. That was nice. Um, and then the a fly entered the room and he, he squatted the, the fly. Fucking killed um, it. <laughs> Fucking murdered the fly. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was amazing. But anyway. Oh, I like that one. I like that one a lot. Uh. That one is definitely one of the more calmer Pink Floyd songs I've heard. It's mm -hmm. just nice and soothing. Really nice guitar, lovely vocals. Nice birds chipping in the background. It was really suited today because it's a very sunny day. There's um, there's one part of the song because you know how in uh, Embryo it had like uh, you know a baby laughing and all that. Sometimes in songs they'll have a yeah. bit where they have sound effects. In this one, it had a swan taking off from the water. Oh the yeah, middle. yeah, I remember yeah, that. You, you can hear it, you can hear its wings flapping on the water and making splashing sounds. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's just you know, it does give the feeling of being, you know, in a meadow. So mm -hmm. it accomplished yeah. what it was setting out for. I imagine this is just a very simple, yeah, that, very yeah. effective, chill song. I like it. I really like that one. Uh, the acoustic guitar combined with Roger Waters' very soothing sort of, as I said, welcoming voice. It's just, it provides a very sort of nice, peaceful atmosphere. Like, and combined with like the, the nature sound, it sounds like a, it sounds like a sort of gentle stroll through the woods, is what I put it. Mm. And oh, maybe see. through a meadow, isn't that right? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I really like that one. I like I like the chill atmosphere. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I see wind of night be gone. This is not your domain. Yeah, Roger's voice in that song is incredible. Something that I wonder is about is the lyrics because I wasn't paying like that much attention to them because usually I mm -hmm. pay more attention to the instrumental when we do these recordings. Um, it's very just descriptive. The hook is here, the larkin and the harkin to the barking of the dog fox. Gone mm. to ground. See the splashing of the kingfisher flashing to the water. Yeah, so and it is. And the river what I was thinking, of yeah. green is sliding. It's very British, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Laughing as it passes through the endless summer, making for the sea. <laughs> Just um, a very nice song until the yeah. the fly comes in, because then and, yeah he fucking murders the fly. <laughs> Not only did the fly fucking you know get in my ear and fucking annoy me, thanks to Roger Waters, but it, yeah. I also hear him squatting the fucking microphone to cut the fly. So that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Grantchester Grantchester Meadows is a secret, a scenic countryside location in the small town of Grantchester. Um, close to Cambridge, so obviously Umaguma is Cambridge slang for sex. So this is like near where they grew up, you know. Mm -hmm. um, this is gotcha. like Roger reminiscing about a meadows that is near where he lives, and I've got a picture of it that I'll put in the chat so you can see it. It's absolutely gorgeous, lovely place to hang out as a young man, I imagine. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, that does yeah. look nice. Yeah, very vibrant. Oh, that is that is that is lovely. Yeah, uh, Roger Wood has said Barrett and David Gilmour all grew up in the Cambridge area, um, so. Yeah, it's very familiar to him that, uh, and yeah. So I think I think it's impressive how well Roger does with the acoustic guitar and his vocals by himself. Because I think the the thing with this album is that, despite the fact that these are individuals, they make it sound like the whole band is doing it, and that's the most impressive thing to me. I would agree. It it sounds very full despite being you know so I guess minimalistic in a way. Absolutely, that was a great way of putting it. But yeah, no, Grantchester Meadows is a very zen song. It's very, yeah, very relaxing. I love, love it. It's gorgeous. 